Look, it's another murder man, because the streets are just full of murder these days. Congratulations, murder. You won. You won this town. He just pu dramatically pulls out his, his weapon and starts pathing towards me. Kind of curious what path he'll take. Maybe I can parkour away. No? Can I have his knife? I want his knife. Ow. Ow. Video games are hard, and F8. Nope. I've seen this one before, so let's skip ahead. You cannot do a quick load during that cutscene. I had to watch for that second swing. If I can watch for the second swing well enough, I can just get a little jab in there before. But seriously, like, can I just have their knife? I killed a guy with a knife, that means I should have his knife. That's how life works. Like, all of life. Well, I have my shitty scalpel. I've killed at least two people now that were all murdery. Getting a little closer with the quick save so I don't have to go so far if I mess up again. Maybe I can sneak up on the man. Whoa! You just throw a knife at me? Is that what he just did? How did you reach me? What the fuck? What are you, magic? Ah, secondary swing. So far, the takeaway is that that combat is quite good in this game. Nah, no, seriously, though, these, they're actually kind of predictable and easy if it was if I just had a better weapon, but I seem to have a range of, like, an inch. Because it's a scalpel. I need to find a store that sells weapons. Which, now I've determined what on the map is the stores, at least. I was kind of a, I was preoccupied with the main story and trying not to get murdered by the main story's developments. So that was a bit of a focus for a while there. But now I gotta deal with, like, the fact that all my meters are trying to kill me now. Ow. Yep. Alright, we're doing great. So what happened there is I tried to sidestep. You can't strafe in this game. <laughs> you cannot strafe in this game. A and D don't move you. Like, W and S move you. A and D, you go out. You kind of like... It's like your character injured that very specific muscle in his leg that lets him lift his leg sideways. And he, like he, that was removed surgically or something. Maybe I can sneak up on him. He'll never see me coming. He super saw me coming and now he's throwing knives at me. Could you like not be a murderer? Have you tried that? It's a cool life strategy. What the fuck is your night? <sighs> Alright, I'm gonna move on with my life. Ha! <laughs> this is a man with a dog head. What the fuck? What is that? It's so articulate. It's just an actual dog head. Wait, did you kill dogs? Did you kill a dog and then get its face stuck in like a smiling rigor mortis situation? Because that's concerning. It's such a happy looking dog head, but it is a dog head, and it looks like a real dog head, which is alarming. I think crouching might be stealth, but I don't really know for sure, but I'm trying to crouch away. No. Nope, 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 nope. He's, it feels like he has like this insane range where his weapon doesn't look like it connected with me at all, but it super gets me. Okay, stop that. Stop that. Uh, oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. There's another one over there, of course there is. Hello, that one says ca- Ah, damn it, I got stuck. That one has a cow egg. That's a cow head. It probably is a food place. 
Can I eat the scraps over here? Please? I want the crackers. Can I have the crackers? Pretty place, sir. Do you guys ever sleep? Smoked meat. Price is one billion everythings. Holy crap. Whoa. Whoa. Ah, things are expensive. Vegetables are sixteen fifty. Dried fish. Lemon. Oh my god. I murdered a man and my reward was like... A fish. That's how much they paid me. Is a dried fish. Not even a fresh fish. I wasn't even paid enough for a fresh fish. That's kind of fucked up. Those aren't worth crap. Or was water water worth more for you? Not really. Ooh. He puts value on watches, it seems. I guess the question is, am I being fleeced or not? Hmm. That is the concern, is that it's the first place I've looked, so I don't know if the price is good or not. But I also don't know how long it'll take for me to find another food place. I'm about to die, like, now, so I think I kind of have to commit. I mean, this one says it's good. Or this thing says it might be dangerous. Very nutritious and filling. I'll go for smoked meat. And maybe not sell anything yet? I don't really know how good these items are yet. Huh. Let's try this. Thank you, sir. I would like to not be dead soon, so... Boink. Oh. Damn it. Rations. Click. No. That's all it was? Oh, hunger's gonna be a problem. God damn, everyone's a woman murderer. Just all the time in this game. Hey you, cut that out. Cut. Stop it. Stop. Stop murdering. You need to stop murdering, sir. Murdering is bad. Let me show you that by murdering you. Murder, 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 murder. There we go. Oh shit, people are mad at me. Stop that. I'm gonna run out of health if you do that. Please don't Stop. Alright, well they don't... They don't like it when you kill villagers in this game. They really aren't fans. Stuff. Yay. So, you might be noticing it's daytime all of a sudden. That's because I have rewinded time. Could you stop that? I'm just trying to loot the corpse of the guy I murdered. Ow. Shit. Did I loot it? I don't know. Ouch. The reason why I loaded my save is because as far as I can tell, I think I backed myself into an unwinnable situation. Or at least one that I was not going to be able to get out of it without like extensive research about where to find things or something like that. Kinda got myself in trouble there. Is he still following me? Yes he is. God damn. So, what's going on? And I found this out when I tried to figure out how food works in this game, because I didn't understand what was wrong. And, uh... What I found out is that apparently... Uh... Apparently food items on day two increase in price by ten times their value. It was a huge... Like, scare that happens there. People, one of the explanations people have given for the idea is that apparently because the, uh, because we're putting the city in quarantine, everyone's trying to buy all the food. And so, because of the increased demand, uh, the shopkeepers are essentially fleecing everyone by massively increasing the price so that they can get as much money as possible out of the situation. And so, that's bad news for me as somebody who didn't really have money 
I, I quickly learned that I really don't have that much money. But I was about to starve to death, and I found I had not purchased any food before that point in my playthrough. So that was not good news. So we've rewinded to back when I killed the butcher, and I'm going the correct way this time towards the brick house instead of wandering around forever. And now we're just gonna deal with a little bit of uh, going back. I don't generally plan on rewinding time much in this playthrough, but if I get into like a situation that I got into in XCOM, my XCOM 2 playthrough where I'm like, oh, well, I'm fucked, uh, then that'll probably happen. And I've heard the game is hard, so it's probably not the last time it'll happen either. Katarina thinks Claire there we go. I wasn't planning on showing you guys this part of me going back, but then that little brawl happened. Uh, where two people at once were like, we're gonna punch this woman to death, fuck this, ah, die! And I was like, what the, what's wrong with you? Why are you, why are you doing these things? And so I figured I'd show that, and so I hit record. Uh, but now I've got to deal with the fact that I'm even worse off on health than before, so... Congrats, me! But while trying to primer myself a little bit on how the hell to play this goddamn game, because that's... A difficulty in its own way. Uh, I've heard that one of the one of the decent ways to heal yourself in this game is to consume. I want to go there to there. Yeah, one of the good ways to heal yourself in this game is to consume medicine right before you go to sleep. Apparently, that's supposed to effect, be effective. Do I still have those drugs that I saw before? Morphine, Maradorm. They're restoring strength during sleep. Yeah. So I figure I can just take that, and I'll go to sleep, and probably be all healthy in the morning health-wise. And that'll also take care of my exhaustion, because I'll be unconscious. And so, two birds, one stone there. And then I just need to deal with my food problem, because I'm not in a good food situation. What, what is the invisible wall game in this game? Fine, I'll go around. So this may not be the last time we, re we rewind time. Although we shouldn't take too long to get caught up because I don't have to... I don't have to reread those letters, for starters. Here we go. A familiar shop, just like before. But with less murder happening all over my face. Because it's not the middle of the night. So let's take a look at what their prices are like the day before. This should be illuminating. And, oh he has less food. What the fuck? <gasps> His dried meat is 66! Oh my god! His bread? Yeah, it was 1650 before, now it's 165. His prices are hilariously sh uh, smaller now. Alright, well, let's just stock up, I guess. Because I need to not die if I can avoid it. Hey, look, a lemon. Neat. Ah, the watch was worth more tomorrow. Tomorrow it's worth 90, today it's worth 18. I am really bad at economies in video games, so this is gonna be a test of my, uh, not really a test. It's gonna be a confirmation of my general inabilities with these things, because I'm bad at these things. Uh, hunger's not super high yet. I'll probably wait until morning to eat. When I actually need to, because at the moment, not so much need for food. I should definitely fill up my water whenever I can, too. Because uh, I suspect, and I think the game's even hinted at this, and by hint, I mean I think they've just explicitly said that the reservoirs I've been using to fill my water are going to run out. They specifically talked about it in terms of, like, it should last us a while, or something like that. I'm like, that's not... That's a worrying way to, to put that game. Am I almost back? Going the wrong way. The ultimate lesson I took from this is that I need to make more frequent saves. Manual saves that are all separate from each other. I think the game only keeps two quick saves from your archive around. Uh, so my most recent save was the one... My most recent save was the one I took... I made, uh before I killed the butcher. Unfortunately, 
I don't know what's wrong with me. I didn't save right before sleeping, which is what I should have done. I quick saved, I think. But I made a new manual save first thing in the morning. I'm like, I should have made a new manual save before I went to sleep. I guess I just didn't realize how catastrophically I, I was screwing up the game at that point. Whoops. Ineptitude sneaks up on you, don't it? Are you gonna murder somebody in front of me again? Three of you? Alright, time to die trying to not let her- let people murder her. <laughs> what are your hitboxes, game? Man, charging it up really affects your attack damage. Yeah, it does. No one saw that? At least? It's really not gonna have a po uh, positive outcome on my reputation around town, is it? Sorry, just stopping the woman murderers from doing a woman murder all over up in the place. Where are the three corpses? There we go. They're actually a little hard to find. Oh, my reputation took a hit that time. Damn. Is this gonna be the thing where I get vilified for killing the people that kill that are trying to like lynch women for existing? Because that's what's happening. It's pretty horrifying. And my reputation's taking a major hit as a result. Dialogue hasn't changed, though. Let's see. Ah, it's only five. Pretty early. My health's pretty fucked, but my ex and my exhaustion's getting up there. I'm gonna make a save. But I'm gonna go wander out there and check more of these spots. We'll jump cut here, because I am just, like, exploring randomly and also retracing an old period of the story. Uh, a bit, but I want to see if I can find more food before we transition to the next day. Yes. Cow. Cow here. Must find more cows. Maybe this is like the meat district of the town. Where they sell all the food. Let's see here. Whoa, crackers are... they cost nothing. Damn. Lemons. I don't necessarily know what to value, although the fresh stuff might be exceptionally overpriced. Although, it's all great compared to what I was dealing with the other day. It's tempting to go all in. Fuck it! That is so much of my money though if I add those two to the pile. No. I might be able to find more food places, let's maybe not get the fresh stuff. I feel like that might do me in price-wise. Can I find another meat place? Meat spot number three. All, they're almost all in a row. No, don't close. Just gotta use the right door. Hey, identical man. I know, you have, do you have like a bunch of siblings or something? Well, that costs nothing. Vegetables. Yuck. <laughs> have food, you guys. I'm learning. I'm learning things. Look at all those food items I have now. Hopefully they don't go bad, or I'm gonna feel silly. I still have 2,000 gold? How do I have that much gold? Have I been somehow not paying for these items? No, I just- I think I just have that much money. I guess I just have like somewhat a somewhat exceptional amount of money. There we go. How about we try this again? Save. New. All right, ready to go to bed. Had some bartering. Got a little bit of ammo and some random pills and foods and whatnot. Just trading. I was really just running around for a decently long time. It's now eight o'clock. Uh, just looking for meat at stores and looking to trade. 
my various things that the children like for whatever the children had on them, and then trading the water for, uh, trading that water for the, uh, the drugs, uh, the, the bandages. So I've got a couple bandages here. Got ten mem uh, Meridorm, which I hope which should be my nice sleeping medication I can use. Uh, that's the goal. They actually trade really well. Two razors gives you one mem uh, Meridorm. It's a pretty good ratio. So I had a lot of razors, so that was good. We're gonna see what happens if I take that and try to sleep. That exhaustion go down. Oh, it's going down. And my health went up, but not that much. The day is over. Your timely efforts allowed your supporters to remain unharmed. A new mime performance is being rehearsed at the theater. I should probably visit the theater to, for this mime performance. All right, so we are significantly healthier, but my my hunger and reputation are not in a good spot at the moment. So next goal is to deal with food. Which did, was not affected by any of the drugs and whatnot, but my my health is higher, not that much higher though. So let's try one of those bandages. That helped my health a bit, not a massive amount, but it helped. And now let's try some food. The chips, that's not worth a lot. Uh, bread. Whoa! Bread is worth considerably more. Good to know. All right. Well, it's a good thing I got all those things. All right. So take two on day two. Because uh, I'm of the opinion that I backed myself into like an unwinnable corner, but I could be wrong. Do you have new dialogue? I don't remember. We sometimes differ more widely from ourselves than we do from others. Right. I forgot to talk to you, didn't I, on the way, on the way out? So dialogue changes each day. Is it true? The thing you found out? You don't have to comfort me. Just tell me if it's true. Is there a hope that you're wrong? I learned a lot of things the last couple of days that I would have never considered to be true before. The sand dirt. Is it true? Has Simon died of the sand pest? My colleague Ruben suspects as much. Then we need to run away from here, Daniel. Immediately. Even if we have to move exclusively by foot, we need to go now. We will die in the step, of course, but at least it won't be as excruciating. I can't leave, Eva, but I can help you leave. No. I won't leave this place without you. But we can't stay here. I'm not afraid of death, you know. I once jumped off a building site, and only survived by a miracle. But I don't want to die... of this. Please. Let us all leave. If we all leave, we're just going to... spread it to the outside world, most likely. You've only known me for a few hours. So what? That, what do you mean, so what? It's weird that you're clinging to me so hard. What do you suggest? A freight train of full of meat, leather, and raw materials departs from the station every month. Women of the kin bid it farewell with sorrowful songs and mourning. That's the ritual. Curious. I'd like to have a look at it. Living people are forbidden to get on that train. The only person allowed to come aboard is the deaf and dumb Odong driver. Only he can guide the train through the step. Why? Why is there a special deaf driver for a train? It's just a train. This is the strangest world. This has been the weirdest trip, especially because when I went- when I came into this game, I thought this was gonna be like a historical fiction. <laughs> like, I thought that it was gonna be other- like, largely grounded, like Vampire, where it just takes place in some historic time period where there's a plague. And maybe there might be some supernatural elements to the plague or something, but like, I didn't expect like the entire world to be like, this is, this, this is really, like, closer to Morrowind than Vampire. When I talk about Vampire being grounded, I'm not talking about the vampire elements, obviously. <laughs> I 
an odong. Who is that? An odong means he who holds him by the horns. That's what the people that bring in bulls from the steppe are called. Can we bargain with the driver? No, he's deaf and dumb. Moreover, he's not quite a man. His position is sacred to him. There is a way out, though. I know of a man who could intimidate even a deaf and dumb odong. You know you can intimidate people that are deaf, right? Like, he's not blind. Like, blind- like, if you're not blind, you can still be intimidated by anything visual, be it written threats or just physical threats. Like, sure, you just can't speak to him and he won't speak back to you. That's the only thing being said up about that. Who is it? Andre Stam Stamaton, the architect. He is a very menacing and strong man. He treats me in a slightly condescending manner. But you can speak to him on my behalf. He won't refuse. And I think even Andre doesn't want to rot with the sand plague. Andre. A what is Andre? Is that a name? Andre? Maybe I'm gonna say Andre. That makes more sense. Okay, I'll relay your request to him. There we go. So the day truly begins. If Simon's body is vulnerable to the murderer, the whole town is. My heart is beating so heavily, it's about to jump out. Yes, so does mine. This damn air of yours. Of yours. It's your fault. Stop having air. It's annoying. I have not found a weapon shop yet. I found a number of different shops. None of them sold weapons. So I still don't know how to get anything better than a scaffold, Which, as you imagine, is not a great weapon. Because it's a scaffold. Seriously, the enemies I've been fighting have such range, and I so don't. Alright, time for another jump cut, because I'm going to repeat all the dialogue from earlier, but there's no reason to show any of that. Well, that's not going to be good. How do you do, sir? Oh, there it comes. Hey, guys, you want to help me? Guys. Help. Help. You're not doing the helping. Help me. Ow, shit. Wasn't ready for his little quick jab. Ah, there, there it goes again. Ah! Who's he attacking? The other guy? At least he didn't double up on me. God damn it. Combat's actually really hard in this game. Yay, they like me. I'm gonna die now, though. Yep. Yep. I really need, like, clothes and a weapon. Gonna have to get on that. Now I get to play the Where Was My Last Quick Save game. An exciting game. Ah. Healthy enough time ago. I might go to the theater. That's where I'm supposed to go to ask about how to avoid, how to uh, get her out of here next. But my weird vision thing was like, hey, they're like practicing a new show at the Mime Theater. And I'm like, oh, what are you talking about? And here's the theater. So there's that. I'm the voice of God or whatever the weird morning voice is. It's inexplicable. I'm going to get murdered so much at night until I get gear of some kind. But hey, I don't have any more sleeping to do, so might as well be out here and getting stuff done. Because if I don't need to sleep, I probably shouldn't be sleeping. Because uh, the more time passes in this game, the more I lose, like, hunger and other things like that. So I get negative effects for waiting around. Because this is a survival RPG hybrid. With all the dialogue you expect from a CRPG but all the meters you have to feed, you'd expect from a modern survival game. 
while also being a real-time clock dead rising thing. Today, the killer was identified. Its nature turned out to be completely unexpected. The enemy is found and named. It's called the Sand Pest. The contagious plague is threatening to ruin everything here. How can a killer like this be punished? How can a villain like this be struck? He can't. It's impossible. By pulling a knife on it, you'll just cut an innocent body. I think I should go. Nothing to be done here anyway. You should go. Go then. Wherever you please. Shoo! What the hell is going on? <laughs> okay, so the theater is the place we started the game in where I chose my character. Maybe I was even playing as the mime up there and choosing one of my characters from there. But when I walked in, different voices were playing? Like, I suspect that was me flashing back to the prologue situation, and that was probably the Bachelor and Harrispex talking to each other, since the Changeling's a woman. Uh, but now a different character is here altogether. And I had a weird vision of, like, the... of the, what I can only assume is the Mime and the Plague Doctor. But they are gone also. So I don't... I essentially got three versions of this room in 30 seconds, we and that's the strangest. Strength to support the misfortunes of others. It is neat having fully voiced cutscenes here and there, though, then, because I'm like, oh, wow, voice acting. I miss you a little bit. The house fathers think they rule the world. Self-isolation breeds self-delusion. Oh, well, I guess we found Mark Immortal. He runs the theater, I guess. The theater welcomes the distinguished audience at any time. There's a performance of the masks every evening, and the blood gets rinsed off every night. The last of the time slots are filled with a puppet show, but that's not all we have. Quick tricks, magic tricks, fortune telling, dream reading. Whoever has eyes, let them see. Is this a theater? It's rather small. True. This is a chamber theater, and since I have the pleasure of being the booking agent, director, and impresario around here, I can also tell you that our shows are not for everyone's eyes. When's your next performance? That's for you to decide. You are a part of the lineup. The play script is not yet complete, you see. Everything depends on your actions. You won't have to wait long. Always one of these meta narrative characters like the two we saw at the beginning? And in the last cutscene? When will the play script be approved? Your fate isn't bound yet. It will take time, effort, and of course, your direct participation. Come to see us every evening. We'll show you how you're doing bit by bit. I will definitely come by. We find very few ungrateful people when we are able to confer favors. You're too talkative would be a weird response considering how he's like the least talkative person I've met so far. So far. He might talk way more after that. The three heads of the dragon are facing three different directions. Three powerful families, three clans are overturned by the wind. This wind got in through the breach torn by Simon's death. How will they cope? Will they be able to come to an agreement? The masks do not know the answer to that question. And who does? The masks are two, but the families are three. I suspect the extra family is just that. An extra. It's superfluous. Someone will have to let go of their power before their fellow men remember a different art of letting. Letting go to their head? Bloodletting. Fating into non-existence voluntarily is still better than perishing under the pressure put on you by implacable foes. 
Wouldn't you agree? I wouldn't. People are supposed to fight to the very end. Oh, conversation's over. Changeling went to the dangerous and the suspicious as an envoy of death itself. The masks do not know the answer to that question. Neither do I. All right, goodbye, odd, odd person. Can't use that door. Only the door I came in through. Cool three-floor theater and stuff. No seating of any kind, though, in the entire place. It's all standing. Well, I suppose that answers that question. So we've, we've met the theater, and it seems to be less of an in-game thing and more of like a... A meta narrative thing, like the two other characters telling me about my adventure, although maybe he maybe he really is just a character who exists entirely within the universe and just happens to be doing a play about whatever I do over the course of this. He still has this cartoonish and jokery quality to an extent. He seems unengaged. Well, engaged, but not what do you call it? Like, he's he's obviously fully engaged with what's going on because he's doing a whole story about it. It's more like he feels uncon unconcerned about what might happen to him. Almost like he thinks he's separate from all this. 